Let's talk about steel for a moment because U.S. Steel is in the news today as they announce that they're going to have layoffs, they're going to cut back, back on their dividends, they're going to have some losses. One of uh, President Trump's priorities was really helping the U.S. steel industry in part through tariffs. And in fact, there have even been tariffs announced for Argentina and Brazil. I don't believe they've gone into an effect yet. Is that policy working? Is it helping the U.S. steel industry the way it was expected? And if not, is there a plan B? You know, if you read the whole announcement from U.S. Steel, what's really happening is the plant that they're closing down has historically been a very high-cost facility. It was built something like in 1935. Meanwhile, they've been investing hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in new, more modern facilities, particularly in Pennsylvania. So what's happening is they're rationalizing a bit their production so that they will be more fully competitive in the future as we continue to go forward. Uh, they also will be cooperating with GM and Ford, both of whom are adding lots of workers in those very same geographies. And the hope is that a lot of the workers uh, temporarily displaced by U.S. Steel uh, will find employment, hopefully, at Ford or GM or other parts of the manufacturing industry. So do I take it from that that, in your view and the president's view, the, the steel approach is the right approach and it's working the way the administration wanted it to work when you put the tariffs into place? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear what you were saying. What I was asking is whether you and the president uh, believe that the steel policy of the administration is working. That is to say, when you put the tariffs into effect, this is the, expect this is the expected result. Well, the expected result that has happened is that there has been much more capital invested in both the steel and the aluminum industries. And on balance, they both have added jobs. Those were our objectives, to get capital invested so that those industries would be globally competitive and on balance to have more jobs than before. And should we expect tariffs to go into effect on steel from Argentina and Brazil in the near future? Well, Argentina and Brazil uh, have been announced by the president uh, as uh, targets uh, for tariffs. I think you're aware that they have been on a quota system in any event, so it's not that they have not been without restriction. It's just the question, is the most effective way to do that quotas or is the most effective way tariffs? 